I'm going to continue uh, more, a bit more serious, a bit more sort of dream, the dream kind. This is called The Dreamer. The dreamer is not sleeping in the cold cave under the cliff. His hands cover the damp earth. He stirs continually, dreaming the music that he heard before the night drew on and the dark curtain fell. One day the curtain will fade, crumble under the scowl of sun's heat. Then the dreamer will sleep profoundly, forget the beat of the drum that made him dance in childhood. And another one similar, at last. On the last day, purple green starlings clatter on the hillside. The hermit knows his pale barrier of bones breached, snapped, scattered on the wind. No defense, no concealment. White hot afternoon, word children released on the ebb tide of the ocean, swim, singing to the rhythm of the march, no hope of return, no parole. The rose pink moon cartwheels along the horizon. The imprints of ammonites take up the song and trumpet to the dying dawn. This isn't too long. This is another dream poem, Messenger. They are all here again. My mother with bare round arms. My sisters, eight and nine, in pigtails. They have always been here. My mother packing suitcases. In me, a doubt, an anxious memory of another now. And what do I have to tell them? We are on the road, walking with the cases, falling open at every step, bundling back the clothes. We are going home, but this is not the way. What did I have to say to them? Across the stream to the close horizon, beyond it dry grasses that cut, and now we are there, and not home. I know the dark furnishings, strange instruments with dials and handles rich threadbare carpets. My mother is unpacking. I have brought nothing I can use. And what did I intend to tell them? Now a dark door opens slowly. I can't hold it back. The space behind it, black, tangibly black. From it streams fear, without form or reason. Needle claws grasp, tear my fingers, now I remember the future, soundlessly grope towards the light, screaming my message. Thank you. <laughs>